Phantom Forest. Final area. And I think we made a choice more or less to try to scale back on the maintenance sections at this point. We have plenty of resources for the expected task that's still ahead of us. This is the last map, but we have plenty of attack scrolls. Southeast to Hunter's Edge. North to incomparable suffering. Well, southeast it is. For now, anyway. We don't really need elemental essences because the scroll making doesn't make sense. Since money can buy everything we need. Might still have to buy extra scrolls and do that sort of thing, but at least we can uh, scale it down a bit. Yeah, we're not going there. Wait, what is this? It's an alternative entrance. Where exactly does this go? I don't see another entrance here. It must be in the Maclet village. The inclusion of these worldwide flowers in our procedures, this immaculate village has increased its production of bloodstone more than fivefold. Remember, time is of the absolute essence with the goddess our. Okay, we design. didn't start a fight apparently for some reason. Wonder if they're gonna slip. And they didn't even know that's possible. You can just attack them and no fight. We'll have to wait until they stop. I don't think I'll attack with any kind of damage boost. Just need them to stop for a while. Wait for the Mr. Siegfried. It's because the attack comes with a significant delay. They're moving by the time they land. It's hard to do it in a way where it's, it'll land perfectly. Not sure why I'm even killing them. Yeah, so I started killing them when I spoke to them. Don't look at me like that. It's not as though I'm enjoying this. See how easy it's to get sidetracked. We can teleport back to the gate, so it's easy to return. In the distance, you might spot the most ancient testament to the endurance of the Immaculate Way, the Grand Temple. Master Mangot is inside, performing the sacred ritual now. Listen closely, young initiates, and perhaps you can hear the faint yelping sound Holy of a shit, the ears are on. being transformed into bloodstone.
shrug. Exactly the way we go though. It's because we go southeast, it doesn't mean that we have an, any specific place we are going to. I suppose Hunter's Edge is one of the options, and it doesn't require fighting immediately. So, mm. yes. Uh, whatever comes our way. Uh, as long as we don't go there. We don't want to go near the Grand Temple either. That's a lot of defenses. Death Knight's included. We could fight a Death Knight. Never fought a Death Knight for a It's either evade or instant. Troll, troll. 6,000. I don't want to fight this. Even if I have its weakness, it's still going to take a huge amount to the class of thing. I can, I think I can force them to attack it. And I, I may be able to clean up after they're done. But 6,000 hit points is a bit too much. What the hell are those? Tangleweeds. Uh, poison mines might be a more accurate discovery, but uh, whatever. Mud contrast, probably water immune. Earth, uh, earth immune, poison resistance, water resistance. Air would work well, so would fire. Mm, I thought we we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Get a decoy going, see what happens. Turn to battle. Three points on something. I would need four to do something useful. Skeleton will die, but it will bring those uh, crabby creatures. What much huntress is together? There's only five of them. A single attack will take care of them. Uh, how about a lightning storm? A lightning weakness. Especially since we're, yeah, they're still spread for, uh, in a fairly large area. Lightning storm doesn't have the damage really easily. It's, it spreads too widely and gives them time to even be able to take it. At the same time, if the status effects sticks, it, they're pretty much gone. I need to see some resistance profiles. Air weakness, but no, nothing big. Still, it's the best we can do. I see with righteous anger. Do we have plenty of these? We have 14 now. Stun, 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 stun. 
still they have two thousand hit points, so I don't think that's gonna cut it. Can throw something on the next turn, something serious enough that will probably make their lives a little bit miserable, but uh Wait for it. Fireball. One die. Half health. Half health. Eh, uh, they're not that badly hurt either. Not good. I need another decoy. Okay, let's see, let's see what they can do. Uh, retreat and heal, maybe. No, stay still and burn. They've used another elemental spell, I suppose, but uh, Mount Hunter just don't seem to be anything special. They're hit ball point bags, more or less. Don't seem to be keen on doing anything. Could I give some kind of fire shield to that guy? I could, but I don't think it would do all that much good. How do you feel about the poison damage? I'm not a big fan, apparently, but uh, air, fire, poison all works. That's easier for me. I know ways of yes. Burning and poison. Uh, mm, try to do something. Physical attacks seem to work fairly well. They certainly don't have the physical power to kill me. I mean, I, I have a fairly large negative in my defenses at the moment, and their attacks barely is, is shown on the health bar. Ah, right. Yeah, feeling the fury doesn't apparently kill things though. They seem to be behaving more mostly like archers, so therefore they're fairly harmless, but they'll retain their try to keep their distance. They should be easily able to kill. We'll just teleport them where we need to be. Then I'll teleport to them. Probably through some sort of an attack. Okay. So if there's only one of them, we might as well destroy it with fire. Eternal silence awaits you!
think at this point we are looking at you need to use two master level attacks to kill even random enemy groups. Not something we can't do, but uh, currently increases the pressure on our stored scrolls. We should visit the popular scroll shops every little up. I think that's reasonable. That way, I don't. I, I can be. I can use the scroll without any real fault behind them. A couple of scrolls per fight to do it. Maybe not against bosses, but against those we can just flip free. Anything we can throw their way, anything things quickly. And usually it's the boss that needs to go down. The couple of supporting units don't matter. I think you could buy some loot from this. But it was a limit to how useful it is. So there's uh, maybe a few thousand golds worth of uh, something and you'll get a few nice items, that's it. I'm actually realistic for not giving up my money to pay for everyone. That's that's uh, that's harsh. But the, hopefully it didn't change anything. She really took one spiritual board, right? We can afford it. Uh, they should fight each other. I, I hope they do because uh, I don't want to do 6,000 points of damage to that guy. Water immunity, on the other hand, is a problem for me. And it lasts. Yeah, fire weakness. It's, it's killable. I don't think I can do it with this, but I can at least. And. go into school. And it failed. Of course it did. Fire immunity gone. Thank you very much. Um, as long as I'm poisoned, I can't turn invisible. Right, if I can get sort of a little bit to the side in this fight, and they will go into a simple nice I can just bombard all of them at the same time. I'll have to do it soon, these, these things won't last for long. Can I do haste? Now invisible. Shit. chance no matter what I do. I'll wait here, see what they do. Hopefully they'll focus on the troll. 
Otherwise, this goal is going to just murder me. And they focus on me. Yeah, this this went to shit immediately. Because I was too cheap to use two invisibility items. It doesn't matter now what they do because I don't have uh, I can't have the damage balls on, so I can't do any damage. Uh, still wait until they end the fight. It will help me a bit. Triple. Okay. They have the numerical advantage, and that's not a minor thing. I won't be able to get the oath of desecration until I, unless I use the scroll, but I might be able to get the rage. It cools down very quickly. Damage they can do is pretty pathetic. Yeah, I'll start after at the end of this turn. So most likely the Maculus will die if we not the slave here. Troll will not die. Not even look close. This is why the shitty scrolls are sometimes useful. Uh, I don't know how they feel about water, but uh, enjoy. Troll is still alive and only is troll. Two and a half thousand. Uh, weak against air. Weak against crushing. That's it. I don't think we should charge in there. It's gonna be dangerous, not bad as it is. I don't think he can not be knocked down, so he won't sleep there. Still, we'll save our points. We'll have to charge in there. Invincible might be exaggerating things a little bit. Wit would make them more vulnerable to air spells. I need to dry off. Yeah, resistance minus ten percent. Uh, not that will make that much of a difference. Still, the difference is there. Physical damage barely even shows in the health bar. I think we're going to try to screw over his health regeneration. Where you stand. 
earthquake? No? Fortification. We're getting there. Not all that fast, but we're getting there. How the hell does did you resist that? Chance to resist on 35%. Save against start. Come on, come on. I think I'll keep my physical defense at this point. That's the only thing he's good at. Physical damage. Yeah, and I can't do enough damage on my own, so uh, some kind of summon creature would be nice. Earthquake. It's not earthquake. Something else. Control specific ability very likely. I got the magic touch. Good for you. Put a shock shield on himself, making him more vulnerable to air attacks. There we go. Large potions. Again, nothing particularly interesting loot-wise. Should we put money on this? I guess we can get a couple of items out of this. Want everything there, naturally. Uh, let's say 4,000. That seems like a reasonable amount. The shield could be good. And that's it. The Gambeson is of higher quality, but uh, it's a Gambeson, so we'll never wear it. We have utterly failed in our armor situation, like we have to wear something like that. At the same time, I have found zero really metallic armor. What have you got stashed quality. in here, Mrs. There, they just don't seem to exist or something. That's why I'm also sort of desperate to visit shops every time we get a level up. Like, are we gonna get lucky this time? I'm already, what, level 16, 17? So, we, sh we could easily find an armor piece that would last us to the end of the game. Easily. Currently, we have an armor that has nothing. It has the armor rating and that's it. There's there's nothing really inherently good about the armor. You've just added things to it. Okay, I'm not, I'm not thinking that shit. Um, Thunderbolt grenade could in theory at least be useful. It's not, but uh, it could be in theory. There could be a foreseeable situation where you want to you want to go an area of effect stun and uh, you just don't have the action points to throw some in peace in there. Grenade is always cheap, and it might might very well work too. Right, we could do things a little bit better here. I feel the limiting factor first time was that uh, we could at least learn the language of the Titans. Some of the people here or the challenges here speak it. 
I completed them before I learned the skill, learned the language, so I, I did not really understand what was going on. It didn't stop me from playing through, so it's not like it's super important, but uh, it might offer options, or at least understand what the hell is going on. Caper. Soaked to the skin! I seem to recall there being a cave here. Don't really recall why there's a cave here. Yeah, it's for invested things. Fire and air works. Water, air, and poison are just new. Physical damage only against these. They're fairly sturdy too. Probably Undead would be totally immune to them though. Here, air and fire. But they're weakish. So if I launch some kind of super attack on this, it's basically too low targets that would get affected by it then and nothing else. The night caps would be totally unaffected. And they have decent armor too. So I'm not sure what could be used to take them down. 80% physical damage reduction against enemies of their level, that is me. So that's pretty useful. They're incredibly vulnerable to physical damage. But there's so many I can't exactly just hit a death punch them away or something. Well, I could, naturally, but uh, probably shouldn't. Uh, anything that we could start this with? 16 Infectious Flames. Uh, it would only affect those two, which is just fine. It did not even affect the... Uh, yeah, this is... no. Uh, we'll have to figure out something different. I think we should attack the guards away from the mushrooms and start sending summons there or just beat them with uh, physical attacks. I need to dry off. Yeah. like these are super resist um, yeah they have 50% resistance fire so unless we get them burning they're still fairly hard to take down this way I'm not sure what the mushrooms intend to do about this I suppose we could use voodoo dolls but again not alone, they do a decent amount of damage, but you still have to use a lot just to kill a single one. And since the mushrooms are stationary, why would I care what they do? But some kind of a fighter will probably be the best option here. It looks like physical damage could also uh, spill a lot of ooze out of them. Meaning we can get them to explode. Oh, did they just create a this is spore guard? Where the hell did that come from?
Uh, yeah, if they summon those, then we're in deep shit. I could spread the fire about a little bit. But in an easy way though. Okay. Let's take this one at a time and see where we go, go here. There's definitely three of those, and only three. Right, they spit poison at the closest target, so any kind of undead will be perfectly fine. A zombie will heal. Five thousand seven hundred, so surely they can't just give me extra experience every time uh, the invested guard comes to our way. So I'm assuming that they're not an infinite number. And there's a new one. Ah, pitch dark tunnel. Okay, that explains it. Ah, I was worried there for a second. Anything but poison would work, so um Incoming Right, into zombies. Physical that damage is king here, we might as well try to boost that. Un An undead guy has to be on the fourth button though, my poison resistance is exactly that high. Now I'm willing to bet that those uh, spores they should do a huge amount. It's also a small spore. There has to be a gigantic mushroom here somewhere. Right, once we've cleared the area out of these guards, we can let decapitators or similar types finish this. Um, what is my poison resistance? 59, okay, it's better than I thought. Take long to use physical attacks to kill these guys. If I have to just use on a uh, rely on a summon creature. I think I have poison resistance potions. This might be a fine time to take advantage of those.
Okay, that leaves the spore spitting nightcaps. Small deadly spores, we have. Anything to kill them. Protection from getting poisons isn't gonna do much. It's gonna protect from poison damage. How much is it? Uh, 24. Okay, it's less than I thought, but it's still uh, decent. Uh, but because if I get poisoned, that'll actually be much, much larger. But as long as that doesn't happen, we'll be fine. More importantly, I can go aid uh, whatever summoned unit when I use each of them. Which means I would also like to throw that summon unit there now so that the killing can begin. I teleport it because I think this guy will die no matter what we do. I can get the poison resistance. If, yeah, that's air. But the uh, uh, purple ones were poison resistance too. Yeah, 100% chance set to treating poison. Target gains 100% poison resistance for two turns. I don't think this was the thing I was looking for. Screen poison resistance. We need not. Uh, we have an 84. Where is that coming from? Avatar poison. Right. I'll do another one of those. I suppose it doesn't matter what we attack, as long as we attack something. Yep. I guess physical damage, these are extremely vulnerable. And he's dead. But no point wasting any action points to finish him up. Still, if they're doing physical damage, I might as well put all their damage pops on. I mean, they are known to do physical damage. However, I might go to hit them. No, I will not. Yeah, I have what? 45 at least? Reduced chance to hit? Hmm, yeah, I did not think this through. This is plus 30. 30. May divine favor shine upon you! Ugh. Okay, how good would be a uh, death punch at this point? I mean, we have quite a lot of those, so 14. One thousand six. They have abilities to heal themselves. Uh, some of these spells do physical damage. Uh, another would be we can uh, uh, turn the heal effect against them. Them, oh, earth damage. Uh, just hit the fucker. It's unlikely to hit, but uh, we can hold. Here we go. You, you were right there. <laughs> It's 
7,300 for a mushroom. What's your willpower? I come the powers of putrefaction! Can't resist 5%. Ah, okay. They probably isn't gonna keep resisting it. Which means uh, we can get a good effect from their regeneration too. Probably enough to finish. We can do about 400 points of damage with the other heal. And he healed himself, so extra damage. Ah, dirty work, but we're getting it done. Level eighteen. You're a higher le level than I am. Uh, the decapitator is better at killing them so I'll buff him as much, him as, much as possible. Extra damage, extra action points, a uh, chance to hit him go. Three and a half thousand, three and a half hundred points of damage. Mm. Speed. One remains. You need that. Five hundred ninety points. Yeah, there are certain benefits of being a pure fighter. How could that happen? Yeah, I was thinking of some other words, but seven eight me. Can I bless my own ass? No. Ah, yeah. Let's beat the shit out of it then. Give me a couple of hits. No glory in this wealth. It smells like an infected foot, but I've cleared the last of the mushrooms. I don't think we can do last mushrooms. I don't think that at all. On the med. Sweet relief. I'm holding on to a lot of the death punches because Sweet while relief. the nightcaps were immune, I suppose, more or less, against the elemental damage, they were also trivial opponents. They were of no threat of any kind. If uh, any kind of boss type comes that can do the same, I, I need to be able to just murder it. Not necessarily need 14 death punches to do it, but. Uh, 
a good half a dozen probably would be healthy to have. More if we can afford it. Always more. Too accustomed to the sight of corpses. Awesome, right? Ah, uh, they did. Forlorn tunnel. Uh, This is a person. I don't think we can do anything from this side. This might be a way to secure the exit for the others. Seems like a reasonable conclusion to me. I never went to the interrogation chambers in my game until the white vote that controlled the city was already over. Ah, earthquake. So at that point, uh, everyone in the interrogation chambers was already dead. I'm guessing I should take. Be very fairly well, not exactly aggressive, but very active in trying to look out for any kind of a living member of the town in the hopes of helping them escape or getting more information about the shit. Ah, the other on the shop. Uh, it's traps. Oh, there. A word of warning, Wanderer, before you continue on your merry way, Immaculates. Or long as you live in the limbo between... Yeah! Though perhaps it won't be very... Can't say I... Jeez, and especially these days, most undead are busy... Ho I know the weapons of which you speak. I've even hidden away a piece of one myself. I had planned to pass it down to my son, but... Well, maybe you could make better use of it now? Okay. Looks like we could have a couple of replacement items here. Uh, I don't think we need pixie dust, but uh, it's also fairly cheap. Fire resistance, water resistance, lore master, the blade dust. Yeah, it, it has all the wrong things, that's the problem. Okay, armor replacement maybe. Bow, hit points, reflect melee damage as piercing. I, I'd rather have the plus three initiative. Terrible. God awful. Uh, just. God damn, why are you so terrible? Geomancer's axe. Mm, just. Just awful. Do I have. Uh, yeah. Uh, do I have items for the sale? Surely I picked up some. Always something. Uh, how much money does she have? 8,000. Similar level of armor, except much higher strength requirement and armors. I need to think about. I need to test something on this armor. Uh, can I get rid of the armor specialist requirement? Strength, I don't think so, but basically if I mold this to get rid of the movement negative, does it uh, change the requirements too? I don't think it does, but uh, at the same time, I would look like a fool if it actually does and I didn't do it, so uh, I want to test it. It's a fairly trivial thing to test too. I need a 
basically a barrel of oil and I can do it. Add some oil to it. You can't identify yeah. Identify level two. Uh, oh, fine. You actually gave me a new item piece. Axe skip part three. I wonder what the orcs want with all this boat. Make a chandelier, most like, and a very ostentatious one it will be. <laughs> what a deli! Where exactly am I going? Just mine field, as far as I can see, there's no loot or nothing. Wondering if there's a fight here. I mean, why have the mine field? This should also be the area where we can get the where should you? That's something that was totally left on. Something about great trees and stardust. Uh, I haven't. All the stardust have been nowhere near any craters. So I'm not sure. Either I misunderstood the clue, or it, the connection is. Something different. I'm warm as fresh apple. You can speak, Jinxica. I had, if you come, a kind the dark wood that each of the human tribe came shortly after. They've survived savage, but you're they must be squashed. Hmm, oh, that bothersome old. I can sleep. Source hunter, welcome, welcome. Okay, reflect any damage as water damage, hit points, nebrium resistance, earth resistance. I don't like the reflect all damage. It's technically could be useful, but uh, usually it's just either it's totally insignificant as an offensive weapon or it just heals them. You would have to build around that, and I, I, I don't. I, I value other things far higher. If I try to include some kind of reflective damage requirement on my equipment pieces, I'll never get anything remotely what I need, so I just want to get rid of it. Constitution 1. Constitution 1. Okay. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, yes, that I'm watching on with we. It was once a. Qu Their leader, Grutilda, is known far by order of Lea. Jarl, or these are far from the blindly devoted. He has a residence at the far. Know that Zandalore is why. Nevertheless. He I think we needed some kind of maybe wheat or yeah barley. It seems we've already harvested the last of the ripe barley. It seems we've already harvested the last of the ripe barley. Right. Barley. I think the amulet of the Immaculate will get us in here.
It never rains, but it pours, eh? Everyone has Tenebrium weapons. Solid resistance is all over a decent amount of hit points, but they're still around what the goblins had. Nothing exceptional. Physical defenses are fine, but not exceptional. And also, I'm all of higher level than they, so the physical damage would be reduced further. Uh, You there, Flatlander. Stay your business. And they have heals 50% potions pretty much all around. So either we go... Yeah, how are we gonna deal with this? Immaculate. Come to play now the town's been t Well, come better you for... I suppose you could uh, intentionally start fighting, but I think that would be very, very dull. Lose all the good op opportunities. We need to be cheese to the rats, but we don't want to start with that. That needs to be just handled before we go after any of the uh, missing townspeople. Y'all can't stand the thought of this old tribe getting ripped to shreds, get blasted, mosquitoes. Never a moment's peace with these filthy vermin, but brother. I think the human that pesky bugger might have. How's our Tenebrium resistance? 37. Yeah, we would definitely like the higher pull where we, everything cut, turns to shit here. Everyone has Tenebrium weapons, so if we can make counter that, their damage will be severely reduced. Surprisingly, potato sacks contain potatoes. We might want a bucket of water. Like, what are we gonna do here? Talk to a lot of people, shop as much as we can. I think this is more of a setup now than anything else. We need to have, be aware of what our options are. We can't proceed any with any of them until the rats have been taken care of, though. Otherwise, something may be happening or not. You know damn well I wouldn't touch anything. Look here! Look at you! How I admire one whose head is lodged so firmly upon their shoulders, like a spire that rests upon the breadth of its foundations, one and indivisible. Not I, alas. Why make a permanent? And so I ask, as have we all. Now their mouths neither talk nor snigger. Surely you jest when you. If I play the. I, you. Why was I so blind? The soul This is not acceptable. Romantic 3, Pragmatic 4. Yeah, it's it romantic is becoming too high. We, we could lose it at any moment with a choice. I, I'm not sacrificing it for something trivial like a, a conversation with a totally secondary entity. 
We're definitely going very pragmatic on this one. It's just hard to, because you can't see what you're really choosing. I was thinking spiritual more than anything else, but uh... Whose head is lodged so firmly upon their shoulders, like a spire that rests not I. Why make a and so I ask, as have now there surely you if I play I you Your words cut like razors, but you are right. I am a ghoul. I am a Just to death. He talked himself into oblivion. Downcast dog. The dog looks up at you with misery. The dog hangs. Another one. God damn it. Sai, what's the send? Stay out of the top floor of the tavern. Unless you want to get your eyes poked out. I've seen the bloke up there do terrible things with a butter knife. Hmm. Hello again. Do you bring good me? They've survived Sabbath year. They must be squinching sick. I had. If you come to this bill, a kind the dark invader would this each life the human tribe. What shops are available? I seem to recall that there were basically a lot of uh, barbarian or pairings going on here. Investigating or chatting and you could uh, cause them to fight or get hostile somehow. I haven't got a hole in my pocket, have I? Not in the in the sense that they will start fighting, but in the sense that you can Don't stir up trouble between the larger I haven't got a hole in my pocket, have I? I'll take extra cheese with me since we're dealing with rats. One side. I ain't got time for chatting till I find the damn thing. What does that matter? The key to the armory, of course. Hasn't that frog got a damn thing in all the twelve hills of hell? This idiot orc has no idea where he's lost the damn thing. So he's taken to blaming me, a passerby. It's just like an orc to save his own skin. You'd be too if you'd misplaced something of Gratilda's. I once saw her skin her own. What's worth? I'd tell him to... Right, uh, well, Gratilda's men, uh, Gratilda and the Orcs are in a uh, upper position, better position than when the fight starts. Because they have used the bloodstones to buff themselves up. So, we would benefit if we get Gratilda to kill some of his, her own men before the fight starts. To we'll even the situation. Poisonous creature. Uh, we need to produce some booze, right? Yeah, it's a fucking camera is uh, getting stuck, so it starts to shake. For the longest time I thought that was some kind of earthquake. Single malt whiskey starts in the fields. Blah, blah, blah. Once harvested, the barley must be milled to create grist. Mix the grist with well water and it will. Okay. Middle the grist. Do I have grist? Yeah, 
got the barley. Right. to the skin! Human, leave the lands out of these. You're going to work today, boss. I could do with a cold drink. What? Free to address your betters, are you? I ain't afraid of a single frog-skinned one of you. Then why not stand up and face me? They're keeping the peace for now, Chief's orders. That'll the trust's yours to keep in the meantime. That's so. Y'all can't stand the thought of his old tribe getting ripped to sweats, can he? What exactly do we need to do with the warrant? You know damn well I wouldn't touch anything. I need to try out. Hot still and then have time pass. Well, I've got the spirit, but it won't be any good unless I can twist time forward a decade or two. Who do I know who might be able to bend the rules of time ever so slightly? Uh, I need to get to the hunter's edge. Waypoint, otherwise uh, it's going to be a pain to ask to walk back here. Doesn't directly benefit us now, but uh, well, this makes us ready to complete the quest. Garrick was a kind sort of fellow. Always shared his lunch with the gods' fairer creatures. Imagine our dismay when that big green beast carried him off. Oh, yeah. Tweak! We've already found three villagers hiding in this place. They dragged him into the warehouse cellar, and I haven't heard a squeak from him since. Okay. H my wa H my whiskey. Uh. Not sure at what point we should complete these things. Just before we start a boss in the city. So currently it's gonna be a lot of position in place. Good to see you on the shelter plane. A heavy is the hand. What did I tell you? Now be careful with this libation, will you? I had just the tiniest sip myself, and I must say, it's quite potent. A question has me stumped, milady. Why are there two of us? Two beings that Um, why are you all looking at me? I want to visit the shops. The sh oh, uh, not all shops, I mean the shop here. We'll sell the extra loot we have. Okay. This would have the capabilities of identifying it. That's more or less it. Fingers crossed we might find something useful, but probably not. You again, my friend! Yes, and so my friend. soon after tomorrow, how can I help you this time? Most and uh, most of the new stuff appears to the bottom, I think. Ooh, a plus two strength. Movement, immunity bleeding. And not exactly great. This would more or less just counter the strength requirement that comes from the armor itself. It has nothing all that's good going for it. It would still be better than what I currently have though. So that there's that. I can't believe that it's it's so rare to even see these armors. There's like row after row of something else and then only very few heavy armors. 
Right. The rings look uh, quite uh, appealing at this point. Poison resistant. Ah, uh, we have a little belt. Do care. Uh, shields and uh, rings look quite nice. Basic stuff. But uh, poison resistance, tenebrium resistance, intelligence, immunity to burning. So four genuinely useful things. And the uh, poison and tenebrium combo is usually a little rare. I think I'll hold on to that. I wouldn't say it's amazingly good, but uh, I can see myself having use a use for that. And we're looking for things to add to the tenebrium resistance, so that's basically it. Uh, so four new items. Shield looks promising. Worthless. Doesn't have any requirements, but not for us. Ah, terrible boots. Immunity to being petrified on a shield. Yeah, but we have constitution and tenebrium resistance in this one, so not particularly interesting. Uh, petrification is not uh, commonly used. We can just switch rings. Even in the middle of a fight, it would be only a couple of points. Very likely, we would uh, have a saving throw against the first attempt to fetch by us, and we would succeed. After which, we could protect ourselves. Uh, so, yeah, just go for it. Mm, I doubt we need more tormented souls. We are hard pressed to find weapons we could actually use at the moment. It would have to be one-handed perception leadership. So strength, speed, perception, constitution, intelligence, those would be valuable things. Strength and dexterity I can always add later a little bit. But if it had uh, strength of its own, it would definitely be a positive. Might not bad. What exactly do we have with these rings? Strength and speed, immunity to petrified, poison resistance, immunity to stun. I think we have a couple of immunity to stun, and fire and earth resistance should not be in the ring. Anything else pretty much would be better. Tenebrium resistance, yeah, I, I think that's better. Not by much, but it's still better. 55%. And we need to push it higher somehow. Poison and tenebrium resistance. In exchange, we would lose immunity to petrification. We would lose strength, we would lose speed. That's a, that's a tougher trait to make. Poison isn't that important, but it would still be used fairly commonly. It's the tenebrium. That's gonna be tough to get if we don't actively go after it. I could increase resistance to other things. Yeah, this is missing air and earth, for example, so... But our poison resistance would also go down. I'll have to guess how, and make some choices how important the tenebrium resistance is really to us. If I have ore or something, I have something that weighs, weighs a ton. Well, I have a huge amount of tenebrium bars, for example. Yeah, I, I probably should just dump those. They're not the reason for the heavy weight, though. I have a lot of other things. Yeah, this, is, this probably explains some of it. 
Okay. You already know this skill. Uh, this probably doesn't uh, use up the skill book if you learn it, so you can everyone can learn this. And skill books, well, they actually have a decent amount of weight. I think I'll just. No, I'm not sure if I want to sell them. Yeah, I, I'm like 90% sure we're never going to learn these, or even want to, but the thing is, if we do, it's much simpler for me to just go to a single chest in the homestead, instead of go on some kind of wild ch chase over all the land to find the correct uh, book, spellbook. And the scrolls are not an option. Some spellbooks or skills cannot be learned through, or you can't make the spellbook through scrolls. You just can. I think Vampiric Touch is a good example of that. It's a very simple spell, low level, but uh, you just can't make a spell book out of the scroll. Resurrection, I think, is another. Uh, this won't make much of a difference, but it will help a little bit. Right. More importantly, it'll keep this under control. And I think I'll leave things here. It's a lot of going around, exploring places, talking to people. I, I don't think we're gonna get a huge amount of experience anytime soon, so the level 18 might take a lot of time to actually reach. But we need to get access to Zandalor's house. We need to be able to eliminate the rats before we really proceed with anything. And we need to talk to a lot of people. So, yeah. that'll take some time. 